Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're really doing well today. So ever since July, it has been very intense for a lot of people. How many people are tired? Tired? And in some ways, tired of it. And I do understand that happens. But you will receive a fresh infusion of energy. And I want to let you know uh, that this video is about the journey continuing. So I really do hope you're doing well. And I'm just going to say some words to you here. Deception. Disloyalty. Manipulation. Intimidation. Theft. Rivalries. Poisoning. All kinds of things. Now, I actually was at a job once where every single one of those things actually came up at least once. There was a client who was had murdered his wife, and it was quite the scandal, but it couldn't be proven. There was a deception there. There was embezzlement. There was uh, people getting caught for things. It was very, very eye-opening. And I want to let you know that the journey continues, that your priority is your union, even for the people who consider themselves workers in the fourth dimension. Who would be workers? This would be people that uh, talk about themselves or self-describe as a light worker or healer or something like that, even if you're not, even if that's not your profession. But the light is everywhere. And your priority is still your union. So what about these things that I'm mentioning? Well, let me tell you this, that ever since the eclipse, oh, let me see if the cork is popped, OK? The cork is popped on a lot of you. And you need to let out whatever has been accumulated or that just needs to get purged out, needs to get completely out. The star seeds have been and are awakening. Who are the star seeds? The star seeds are the children of the blue rays who originate from a planet. You've been seeded above that planet. You've been created and you've lived usually in a dimension that is above certain planets. That is why some people will self-describe as starseeds, or they will say, I'm an angelic. They are identifying with what they're able to remember, but there's actually a lot more. And there are people that identify with planets that don't exist any longer. There are planets in our very system that no longer exist, such as what is now the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, that was once planet, and another planet, which is the Kuiper Belt. Now, you can only see some of this in a telescope, of course. So for people that are astronomers or amateur astronomers, you might find that very interesting. On the other hand, for someone who has actually lived there, the star seed that you are, you're clearing up a lot of past ancient stuff. That's why the cork has been popped. And the awakenings will continue in earnest, particularly as we go towards the winter solstice. Now, we just changed the season. Everything starts to level up a notch, OK? Even people that you may not think have. But your heads won't fit together where you're going. You can't fit your head together with the collective. They're at a different pace than you. Some of them have not been awakened yet, even if they consider themselves enlightened or aware or conscious or mindful. 
the heads won't fit together. The eclipse was the time to shut the door as planned, and we did that. But in doing so, we've also popped the cork. So I want to share something. I know a lot of you um, do collect found objects. You see something that's significant to you. So two days before the eclipse, I was walking in an area because I went to a wooded area at a state park to view the eclipse, and I was kind of scoping it out. Where was I going to be so that I could see where would I park and things like this. And it was super clean, super, super clean, except I found this. It was a cork, and what it says is Love Noir. So in keeping with a little bit of the French theme that I started in my last video, what does noir mean? Well, in English, this has come to denote something that is dark, sultry, maybe a bit covert, underhanded, noir, film noir, love noir. But what does it mean? It means black, and it can mean this is what I take as the cork popping out. You're popping the cork on anywhere where your love energy, your sacred sexual got distorted. And yeah, there's things. I mean, I, I just happened to hear the word reproductive abuse. What is this? Well, this is sometimes when someone is forcing someone else to get pregnant or to bear them a child or something like this. That's an actual thing. And it came to my attention through uh, a detective show, which I don't really watch. I was flipping a channel, and boom, it was right there. The words caught my ear. But what does this mean for people? Love noir. It means that some of the ways that you and your twin have either been forced to or participated in the darker, denser aspects of the misuse of the sacred sexual. And I do include in here force to sometimes, because sometimes it wasn't a choice in certain lives. Sometimes you were at the behest of someone else, doing something, um, making something happen, forcing something, you know, aligning kingdoms or something like this. And that is all done. The eclipse was the time to shut the door on all of this as planned. So how would this look, though, at a human level? Well, you can have a couple, and one of them actually may feel asexual or may feel as though they are somehow not really like all the other people. They don't get turned on over the same things. They don't have somebody walk by and go, woohoo! It really takes something for them to notice. And you're not here for an emotional affair with your twin. You're not here for a physical affair with your twin. You're here for the full thing, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole full union. Your priority is union. Even for people that do uh, work in energy of some kind, you have to be equipped for your union, otherwise other people's energies will interfere with you. So you have to know certain things. And the star seeds, as all of their stuff begins clearing out of what happened here, what happened there, part of the differences you see here is that there are people from different star systems and you can't fit your heads together. That's not where you're going to fit together. You're fitting together at the heart. And as you come together, you may find that you're like doing this, you know, a push, pull, push, pull. But what is really happening is things are yanking out. But there's an easier, softer, gentler, much more productive and proactive way to do it. And I have that information in my webinars. There is one that I have called Expansion of Love, Erasing the Past. I have several meditations in here. I have a couple of meditations to help with your expansion and to erase the past. 
There is also uh, quite a bit of information in here about the endocrine system and the lower chakra interference. Human body in transition, I talk very specifically in there about lower chakra interference, the reproductive system on both males, females, no matter if you are two gay guys, okay, and gay guys get this too, they get low testosterone, they get low sex drive, they don't always know what it is, they get gels that they put on themselves, testosterone gel, it helps a little bit, but nothing helps more than your true love. And it happens with lesbians. There's a lot of lesbians that take out all the plumbing. They've had, you know, a hysterectomy or they've had their, an ovary removed or something like that. It happens. But I'm here to tell you that there are parts of you that are still connected to each other. And that is the beginning of the outlines in here. So if you feel that you're a fur little further along in this, you may find this one very helpful. Also, if this is fairly new to you, the human body in transition, where I talk a lot about this, or if you are a male, there's information in here that will be very helpful for you. And I will be doing a Blue Infusion live webinar on September 29th, which is Friday morning at 8 a.m. That tends to be about 2 or 2.30 in the afternoon in the UK. It's about... Um, I want to say three in France, four in Greece, and I'm also doing it on September 30th. That is a Saturday at noon. I set a smack in the middle of the day to hopefully make it convenient for people either in Europe or even in Australia um, or the West Coast. You will find that this is your Saturday morning on the West Coast or early morning in Hawaii. And this is um, what I'm going to cover in here. I'm going to bring you back to some of the basics, some of the beginning as a refresher. If you feel that a refresher will help you, let's do it. And I am going to uh, have a short presentation. I open the floor for questions and answers. And I do get um, guidance for people. And I also will lead you through a guided meditation connecting you with your, with your own twin flame, not with a collective. And this has been very helpful for people. Um, I've had great participation. So I just want to say something about that. Don't feel that you have to participate. You can just listen in if you want and hear things. You will gain some information from that. You will gain at least, hey, someone's going through this thing that I thought I was going through. You may hear something that you needed to hear in that because people do share and people do talk. And that might be very helpful for you. So if you feel that you're kind of hitting the wall here, I want to share one other thing that I found on my journeys, my journeys being my walks, I walk every day, every day, even in 20 degree below weather. You've been waiting for me. Revolutionary new design. So I spotted this and I was like, oh, another message. Because you know why? That message comes from one of my favorite home improvement store places. I love this place. They have little inspirational sayings at the bottom here. And some of them have been really great. They really hit home. And not only that, this is where I went to get my cold weather gear. Where else to get really good, relatively inexpensive cold weather gear than at the home improvement place where, you know, people who work out in construction do this. And that's another thing I just want to remind all of you feminine that your divine masculine, yeah, he's been doing some heavy work. Now, grant you... Both genders have been doing stuff. But there's a lot of people that d have discounted little girls and little boys, have not fed them properly or have fed them gruel or have not given them the proper care or told them to suck it up. And men have been told this from the time of a child. Stop crying. You're not hurt. They've been invalidated. And when it comes to your divine masculine, he is becoming the light angelic male. 
very quickly, very quickly, the you've been waiting for me part because he has a revolution, your body is a revolutionary new design. Yes, the body is actually new. So ancient things are not going to tell you everything about it. And it's been made new particularly so that those things I mentioned in the beginning, the seductions, the deceptions, the disloyalties, the flirtations do not occur. Now you might be saying, I hear some of you, you're saying, oh hey, but some of it's still been happening, Patricia. My twin is out there and I'm thinking about going out there. Well, you two can go play ping pong with that, but I'm going to tell you this. It's going to go nowhere. It really will go nowhere. You'll find that you're spinning in space and getting more and more stagnant. Why not jump off that karmic wheel and come join us? Find out some things. Find out how to spark yourself up again. Get some of your juices going in the right direction. Not with the lower level soul group interference in the lower chakras because it does mess with several areas of your body that your body is no longer willing to hold or carry. Why? Well, that's because the cork is popped now and things are, people are feeling things. You're not allowing yourself to grieve. You're not allowing yourself to cry. Maybe you're tired of crying and I do understand that. A lot of people are tired of crying, tired of the crying, tired of this, that, and the other thing. And I am here to tell you that your body is so new that it is very incumbent on you to learn about your body, learn about what's going on with things that people call ascension symptoms. What are those ascension symptoms? Why the headaches? Why the pressure on the chest? Why the pressure in your rib cage? Why the pains in your lower areas or the rashes or the inflammations or the sudden onset of some kind of something that feels like ascension flu. That's what people call it. I've got ascension flu. But what is that really? We'll find out about it because I do talk about a lot of this in my webinars. I've touched on it and these two are, I'm, guiding you that these will be very helpful for this time. There are people that have been on this journey for years and years and years and they will consider themselves an old hand at this and this is fine. But I am speaking to people where this is relatively new for you. If this is relatively new for you or you've had perhaps a psychic reading and the psychic suggested to you, hey, you're on a twin flame journey. And you say twin flame journey, but what's that ex mean exactly? Well, I am probably the next best step for you on your journey because your journey continues. And yes, there will be further awakenings, realizations, but best of all, the love, the love that you knew inside you, maybe even from the time of a child that you're just here to be with your true love. And it could be that simple for you, that simple. The mind tends to overcomplicate things in order to explain things. I've got to use all kinds of words here. I can't just transmit an image to you, although I do try to with, you know, some of these types of illustrations where you have a couple and, you know, one of them saying, well, you know, I want to do this and when I do this, you get this way and she's saying, I wouldn't get this way if you wouldn't do that. And he's saying, well, you're trying to control me. No, I'm not trying to control you. I can feel you. Yeah, but stop feeling me. I don't want you to feel me. I don't want anyone to feel me. And there you go. How do you get this together? How do you stop that thing that feels like, you know, like this? And, you know, they snap off each other. And then they each think in their heads that, oh my God, this is over. I broke it. I, I ruined it. I, it's, I'm, I'm no good at relationships. Then they start with all of that stuff, their self-esteem and all kinds of other stuff. I'm bad at relationships. I screw everything up. I don't know what it is with every single man I ever meet, he leaves. And there you go. And how do you break some of these patterns you know, some people call it patterning, programming, 
things embedded, and yeah, it's in there. How do you get it out? I have the stuff in here, expansion of love erasing the past. This is the beginning of how do you start getting it out? What do you do? How do you erase all that past stuff? Patterns, male-female relationship patterns, family patterns, how you were disciplined, how your parents were with you, what illnesses or addictions run in your family, okay? That's what we're going to talk about. So I've got three helpful ones here. And, of course, yes, I do not only readings, I do coaching, I do uh, reconnective work, I do causal body opening work. Causal body is up here around the head, and you have things there that you have to jointly connect with your twin. Do you know how to do that? Maybe, maybe not. If you don't, because this will be how you manifest not only your life, but what you want in other planes of living, which means other dimensions. So if you have a question, you can email me at my Gmail or find me at www.twinflamesmerge.com. And if you like these updates, please subscribe because the only way you're going to get raptured is with your twin in your union. There's not a collective rapture here going on. And I dare say to you, it will be a lot softer and gentler and sweeter and more sensual than Okay, because what happened at the eclipse was the door closed and a lot of people felt it and they started to feel bereft. But you're not done. Your journey continues. And as I like to say, found this one too. Real love stories don't have endings. Of course, it's an advertisement for a diamond engagement ring, but real love stories really don't have endings. You end other stuff. You end other relationships. You two don't end. And if you think it's the end, it's not. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Check it out. Come join me Friday night or Saturday. Either way, this will be very helpful for you. And the one thing that is guaranteed is you will be with your twin. It's going to be sooner or it's going to be later, but you will be. It's what you came here for. So get busy with yourself and find out how about your bodies. Okay? So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.